How's it going guys? Uh, usually on this channel we review airsoft guns, but this thing was just way too cool to ignore. This is the KWC Mini Uzi, and we are shooting 4.5mm steel BBs. Um, and it shoots at around 360 feet per second, which made me wonder what can we destroy with it. I give you exhibit A. We have an egg set up, and we have a slow motion camera, so this should look pretty epic. We missed absolutely everything, but uh, that was a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and uh, try that again. Okay, we've reloaded. Uh, let's go ahead and try that one more time. Okay, that was a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and try a water bottle now. We have it set up down range. We have a couple more BBs. Something interesting about this gun is that it uses an entire CO2 with every single magazine. That means if you were to shoot this entire bottle of BBs, it would cost about hundred and ten dollars. That's that's pretty insane. All right, what about set up down range? Let's go ahead and try this. I got hit by so many BBs. That's why you wear glasses. All right, we got the water bottle pretty good. It definitely had some that went through. Um, I don't know if it went through both sides. We'll be able to see probably on the slow motion camera. You can see uh, this thing's not all that accurate because it, it, it does bounce around a little bit. Uh, but that is so much fun to shoot. That was an entire CO2 gone. Um, but absolutely worth it. That was pretty fun, but for the review part of this video, you're going to notice that build materials are mostly made of plastic on the lower. You've got grip, you have the handle, the whole trigger guard, the front, uh, the foregrip, I guess is what you call it. Uh, the upper is entirely made of metal. You've got the charging handle, the bolts, that's all metal, and the foldable stock is made of metal as well. Now this gun does weigh about five pounds, and it feels pretty good, it feels pretty solid. You'd never feel like it's gonna break. But now the biggest issue for me with this gun was just the CO2 consumption. When you are done with a magazine, it still keeps shooting if you're in full auto, or I guess semi-auto, but you probably noticed it a lot quicker in semi-auto than full auto. but you will go until the magazine is completely out of CO2. And since CO2 costs about a dollar per cartridge, that's going to be about four cents per shot, which in the world of air guns is very expensive. Obviously, if you're shooting a real nine millimeter Uzi, that's going to seem incredibly cheap, but for most of us, we don't have that option to shoot a nine millimeter Uzi. Now the recoil on this was actually very surprising. It was a lot more than most airsoft gas blowback rifles, actually more than every single airsoft gas blowback rifle. It made it uh, a little bit difficult to aim in full auto because it would bounce around a little bit, making it hard to see the sights. And these sights are not very good, like even in semi-auto, the sights are just pretty terrible. As you can see when I was trying to hit the egg, accuracy does suffer just a little bit because the recoil is a lot more than you would expect, making the sights all bounce around, making it hard to keep it on target. Um, it doesn't really go up at all, it's just kind of jiggling all about, just like rattling back and forth and making everything all blurry and... I don't have terrible aim, it's the gun, not me. Would I recommend buying this? Probably. There are a couple factors that go into this. If you have a lot of space, yeah, you're gonna love this, it's gonna be so much fun. If you do not, then that's gonna be tough. These BBs are still traveling pretty fast at over 300 feet, meaning if you do not have either a good backdrop or a lot of land, then this is going to be a little bit tough to shoot. That's one of the reasons why airsoft guns are so great. You can shoot them in the basement and when they ricochet back, it, it doesn't really damage anything. But with steel BBs, it can definitely cause a little bit more damage when they ricochet back than with an airsoft gun. So something to keep in mind when you're thinking about buying this. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Uh, there will be a link to buy this in the description below. Until then, I'll see you all next time. Thank <laughs> you.